Okay, that's that's basically the three soundtrack. Um, let's play video games. Great. Hi, uh, my name is Sean Bouchard. Welcome to Play by Play. Uh, tonight we are going to do the same thing that we did last week because uh, it was fun last week. I actually had a lot of fun last week. I had like a really good time. So, despite how ridiculous Titan Souls is. So this week we are going to be uh, playing, doing the same thing. We're going to play uh, a segment of Reigns and see if we can get a little bit deeper into the game um, and suss out sort of some more of what is going on in this sort of unfolding uh, uh, series of mechanics and systems that, that we started exploring last time. And then uh, after that, we'll play some more Titan Souls. I mean, my goal for an hour is to just beat one more dude. And I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it or not. We'll see. But but the way that the game opens up, I think uh, it means that we can like explore a bunch and see sort of how some, some of the different monsters look. Uh, even if I'm terrible at the game. And um, I went out and got an Xbox One controller. So now I will have a controller as recommended for playing Titan Souls. And we'll see if that makes a difference. Um, yeah, but all of that said, um, I am. I'm, uh, let's start. Let's start playing Reigns. Uh. Um, I did get the controller to work by plugging in the USB port, which is weird and also surprising because I'm used to the 360 controller, which does not work that way. Um, but this one apparently, even though it's supposed to be a wireless com controller and it did connect uh, to my computer via Bluetooth, um, didn't actually work in any games in that fashion. Uh, but if I plug in the USB, then it does work. So it works as a wired controller, which is fine for me. That's all I'm looking for. Um, oh, but uh, the sound issue that we were having last week with both of these games um, still seems to be a problem. And I still don't understand it uh, because it's not a general sound issue with my laptop um which has no problem playing the threes soundtrack for example uh but um both of these specific games just uh emit a high-pitched whine uh whenever i try to play audio with them so we're gonna we're gonna go sans audio again um at least a little bit so all right as you recall, Reigns is a game about a, um, a, 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 a royal lineage uh, of some sort of a like medieval semi-fantasy kingdom. Uh, and I have played, uh, can I tell? I might maybe can tell um, how many of these things I've Oh no, it's so confused between my attempts to use a mouse and a... whatever. Um, oh yeah, I can kind of... Oh look, I can just look right here. So, I've played George, uh, Edward, uh, Baudouin, William, and Baudouin II, um, all of whom uh, died, uh, except for... Maybe William? One of them actually didn't die, uh, but was um, uh, ousted from power and then lived a, a long and happy life, uh, but not as a king. Um, so I've played uh, five different rulers, and uh, I'll continue sort of their lineage, uh, playing uh, a game that is best described as uh, Tinder for Royalty, uh, it, the, the game is played like this. Um, it, it gives me a scenario. The people of a Western village are afraid of goblins. Who should take care of this? And I can swipe uh, left or swipe right. Um, and uh, if I swipe left in this case, 
I answer uh, the church should take care of this. And if I swipe right, I answer you should take care of this. Presumably referring to Lady Liana, who is somebody? I don't remember who Lady Liana is. Uh, but I do sort of feel like in a, in a, uh, in a, I, I, I will, I'm trying to be politic here. Um, I, uh, if she's got a problem, if she wants to raise this issue, then, uh, let's have her take care of it. So that, uh, then, as as I'm just reminding myself of the systems here, every time I make a decision, it has an effect on my four stats. And my goal, my, at least my short-term goal in the game, is to keep all of those four stats within a safe area. Uh, if any of them gets too high or too low, then I lose. Um... So, for example, we're rich or I'm rich. Uh, we can see that we're rich is probably going to raise all of my stats a little bit. Uh, and I'm rich is only going to raise my money stat, uh, but it will raise it a lot. Um, so I'm going to say I'm going to spread that, that joy out. Now, the other thing that's going on that I'm going to pay a little bit more attention to tonight is I have these three at the bottom of the screen... I have these three uh, achievements, basically. I have three um, things that uh, the game has suggested I can accomplish uh, and that I'm trying to accomplish. So I'm going to see if I can win a duel, uh, lose myself in the dungeon, and meet the devil. I'm pretty sure that in the last game I had an opportunity to, uh, to, to have a duel and I kind of skirted it. Uh, so hopefully that will come back again. Anyway... Um, I'm going to do the balance stat thing. This is my like mad scientist doctor who I recruited in an earlier uh, lifetime. The estuary of the river drop is dangerous swamp for travelers. We should sanitize the whole area. Yes, it's probably going to cost me money, but be good for people. No, it's going to be bad for people. My people is dangerously high. So I'm going to say no. And my people goes down, and now it's closer to the middle. My my sort of goal state for all of these numbers is to keep them close to the middle. Although, that's probably not entirely true. I probably want them all at like the 75% mark. Because it is, uh, it is easier to lose things than to gain things, uh, in my experience. But at the same time, I don't want to get forced into a situation where something goes too high. The King of the West is vi visiting us. That sounds boring. That sounds delightful. Sure, why not? I like kings. I am one. We should organize a grand dinner. Uh, what the? See, all right. This is the part of this that is, frankly, the gamey part, right? This is this is a big part of the play is guessing what's going to happen. But it also drives me fucking crazy. We should organize a grand dinner good for people bad for military because it's a diplomatic event and vice versa let's say that good for people bad for military i was right it's a terrible idea the king will prefer to go hunting uh let's see if we can just reverse that yeah look closer to the middle no sir diplomacy and good taste dictates the dinner uh all right let's do both or, sure, let's do both. Oh, no! That was bad! <laughs> uh, that was a lot of bad. While you were busy preparing his arrival, the King of the West invaded your country and then sent you into exile. Um, so I tried to do too much? My preparation was uh, too much preparation? Okay, King is dead. Did not live for very long. Did not rule for very long. Uh, James will be my seventh king. All right. King of the South claims that you're betrothed to the young, their young princess. Declining may trigger, trigger a war. Uh, this has always worked out for me in the past. <laughs> Rex moans in despair. Something's not right. Do I now have a dog? I don't think I ever had a dog before. 
Pat the dog! Why wouldn't you pat the dog? This will have an effect every year. Holy shit, what? Diabolus. Time is gone. Space is insane. Here it comes. Here again. You feel your mouth closing down as if you never had one. Every year this will have an effect. Um, and that's my... I'm cursed with a pentagram? Little king, little puppet says my dog. Wait, what? 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 The fuck is happening? Look at that cool um, lighting effect at the bottom of the card. Everybody's got red eyes. Centuries ago, you asked for eternal power in exchange for your soul. Is this is this finally getting to like the game? Like the there is there is this opening up backstory for me? Oh, because it's year six sixty six. Fortunately, you didn't mention anything about immortality. Oh my god, my fucking things is is going crazy. Each of your deaths is enjoyable. Uh, but even more so is the choice I will let you make now. This is so insane. Holy shit. Go, little puppet, and see you again in 666 years. I just met the devil. Oh my god, this is getting cool. Alright. Oh, death wish. So, um, my, my original hex, my hex icon is gone, but it's been replaced by this new one. The next character you say yes to will die. So, pick a character that I don't care about. Find company of your drunken soldiers ransacked in Abbey. We want justice. Yes, you get justice, but also the priest will die. I'm pretty sure that you burned me at the stake once. So, yes. A body was found later that year, horrifyingly torn and bloated. Okay. Hmm, whispering, a young woman claims her son is in fact your bastard. Should we make this problem disappear? Uh, no. Oh, I, I got a, an achievement that I didn't even know I had. Quickly becomes apparent that the sun is here to stay. Sure, that sounds cool. A group of people have become enraged and are now hunting witches. Are we allowed to kill if necessary? Kill who? The witch hunters? Uh, yes, sure. So that was bad for people and good for military. Because the people wanted to hunt witches, but I empowered the military to stop them. Maybe? I, this, is, this whole game is going to be me trying to interpret the stat changes that happen as a consequence of stuff. Apparently this derangement was caused by rye grain poisoning. Should we burn our stocks? Uh, yes. I mean, that's going to be bad for people, but also it's all poisoned. So, okay, so now I got to try to let people not die. Merchants would like to create a new guild and send their representative to the court. Uh, sure. Seems okay. We can never be too prepared. You need to recruit more soldiers. My money needs to go down. My soldiers need to go up. Uh, I have no idea what this effect, what effect this is going to have on the, on the people. So it's down, but that's fine. That's okay. The harvest has been fantastic. Uh, feed the people. Yay! Good. Good for everybody. I can teach you a th few things about white magic. Yes, do that. My religion goes down, and my money goes down. You have to prove worthy of my time. Sure, I'll do that. Pronounce the holy wood Zgdango. No, oh, I did it wrong. Zgdando. Zgdando. Zgando. Zgando. In the eastern fashion. Oh. 
Zwamu or Auboep. I think it's Zwamu. Damn it. Uh, Zigando is pronounced Auweb. Remember that for another lifetime. If you were an animal, what would it be? A lion? Um, lion is military good. I don't want my military better. A scorpion is religious good. What's the money good one? A gazelle? No. None. No, no animals. I'm not an animal. We discovered an unknown body in the dungeon. Its hands are missing. Shall we reinforce the garrison? The garrison is useless. Or yes, reinforce them. If I reinforce the garrison, they're going to overthrow me. We discovered another body in the dungeon. People are getting nervous and asking for more security. Okay, yes. Woof, woof. Wow, 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 wow. Rex invites you to follow him. Okay, sure, why not? Warf, warf. Rex runs around the castle and brings you back to the throne room. No, no, not there. Okay, sure, sit. I, I believe in you, Rex. I believe in you. There's a crisis in your church. We need to reform our religion. I need everything to go down. So this would make religion go up maybe too much. It would probably make people and military go down, which would be good. But this would just make religion go down, which would also be good. Okay. I'd like to conduct new research on weapons and warfare. No, I can't afford... I can't afford weapons and warfare. Good. The river drop is dry again. We should build a dam. It's going to be good for people and cost money. No, I need to lose people and gain money. So, all right. Now I'm in a good shape with everybody. The Queen in the South is offering you 40 books. We should build a library. Hell yes. Library of Southern Books. The goldsmiths of the capital created a cartel to organize their trade. They want your approval. Is that expensive? No. It brings in tax revenue. Good. My family lasts at the size of our castle. We should build a bigger palace. That's gonna be bad for money, good for people? Bad for people? Bad for people, maybe? Good for military? I'm gonna try it. I can't say no to you, Queen Joan. Oh, it's good for people, I guess. Your church is weak and people blasphemous. Uh, yes. Empower the church. Give us enough power to enforce divine justice in the country. The Pope is ready to pay the price. Oh, that's bad for money. That'll be good for money? Divine justice. Is this going to be good or bad for people? It's going to be good for military, and I can't afford that. Let's do this. Govern at least 20 years. I am so fucking good at government. My lord, your son is a young prince full of promise. Damn right. He's my bastard. Let him come in. Yes, sure. I'm the next king. I will kill all the infidels. Um, okay. Uh, uh, no, not, maybe no, maybe not all of the infidels. Maybe just some infidels? Do you need some credit? Uh, 2,000 gold pieces at 5% interest. Uh, no? You've got gout! Oh no! I recommend less meat, more vegetables, and no love stories! Of any kind. Uh, I think that the church hates this guy. So maybe it'll make church go down. This will maybe kill me. But. Oh no that made church go up. Oh that's bad. 
Would you like to play Red Dwarf? Let's. What's Red Dwarf? I, I thought that was a television series. Let's start with a small bet. I don't want to ruin you. He's gonna, he's, um, he's playing me, so I'm gonna win the first one. Oh no, I did not. Dice are rolling. I'm pretty sure I won. You don't want to raise the stakes while we still can? Uh, oh, I see. No, 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 no. Show me your fucking cards. Lifts the goblet, revealing two dice. Even! You won! But that's just beginner's luck. I bet you can't do that again. No. Fuck no. I'm just gonna take the money and run. My lord, we should appear at the castle's window. The people are eager to see us together. Yeah, sure. Bad for military. Good for people. No good for both! God damn it! I'm pretty con confident this concoction of leeches fed on maiden blood will cure your gout. How the fuck is this going to affect anything? Is, is Master Arn a representative of the church? I mean, his background would sort of imply so, but I feel like this guy, unless I'm mixing him up with somebody else, I feel like this guy has, like, pissed off the church in the past. Okay, good. That was down with everything. That's what I wanted. I just need some more money now. Pretty confident this concoction of leeches fed on maiden blood will cure your gout. You drink the potion. It makes you ill and delirious for days. Uh, but doesn't cure the gout. You feel suddenly very old. Well, fuck. <laughs> woof, 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 woof. Sure. Good. What? Okay, that was a great example that was actually, that was really good. There's a part of me that is concerned uh, about um, the extent to which I am supposed to be better at guessing the outcomes of, uh, of some of these things. Um, like, is there, a, is there a simple underlying logic that I'm just missing? And if I had it, if I understood, if I could articulate that, then I would be able to easily guess what all of these potential outcomes mean. That is reassuring to me because there's no fucking way that that could be interpreted meaningfully by anybody using any criteria. Uh, unless it's a like... You know, it's a meta criteria that's even bigger than I'm thinking. But narratively, like woof, 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 uh, there's no nothing there that should lead me to believe um, positively or negatively about religion and military. So, um, so at least some of these things are intended to be uh, bets, right, rather than educated guesses. Uh, which is how I've sort of been playing it. That's a, an assumption that I've been making, but um, there's there's nothing in the game that actually like strongly reinforces that. Uh, uh, and so this is a is a really good reassurance that my assumption about that is correct, which is nice. <laughs> I'd like to conduct a mass to the memory of your father. That sounds expensive. No, that sounds expensive. The Eastern Baronies are at a war again and their population is crossing our frontier as we speak. Uh, welcome them? It's probably good for my money and bad for everything else because a war or closing the frontier would definitely empower the military and cost a lot of money. So I'm going to do this. Yeah, that's what I wanted. Seems the bird was carrying a message, but it's not there anymore. Uh, look on the windowsill. Look under the throne. I'm going to look under the throne. That's where the dog was trying to lead me. Find a lot of garbage, but no message. All right. 
This message must be important. Let me send some men to the borders. Yes. Empower the military. The mountainous region near the eastern border is unlawful and unruly because I am not maintaining that border. That's fine. Uh, what are the options? Uh, we could appoint Sir Cedric to govern that region and make him pay for the privilege. That sounds good. Sure. Uh, it's a great... Sir Cedric. Oh, this is... Sir Cedric has become... Uh, he changed his look. Oh, no, 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 no. Was that the dude I was talking to? I get it. So this is Sir Cedric. Sir Cedric, uh, I accept, sire. It's a great honor to bring your rule to that savage country. Be strong. Be fair. Be strong is probably what I want. Okay, good. I'm, I, you know, it's really interesting. Like, I am making a lot of choices based on the statistics, on the numbers game, right? Uh, and that is, that overrides moral or ethical considerations in a lot of these cases i'm not making decisions based on like what do i think is going to be best for the country uh what do i think is like morally right what's the way to to rule a kingdom um i am making choices based on what is going to prolong my reign the most what what is going to give me a few extra years and i feel like the sort of faustian deal with the devil backstory is is uh th exactly on point with that right this is a game about uh the the corruption of power uh that um in my position i can choose and it the game makes the choice like pretty compelling and and clear and interesting uh i can choose between um, what is like really honestly best for the country uh, and what is best for me uh, and sometimes those things are aligned uh, and a lot of the time they are not uh, and what is best for me is about um, never letting anything get too bad and never letting anything get too good maintaining a sort of status quo holy shit this game is is really good like as i'm unpacking it as i'm thinking about it um so it's about the uh the systemic incentives um for a government to maintain a status quo uh and how easy it is for those incentives to override the theoretical responsibility that the government has to any of the sort of things that you could imagine the government is responsible to whether that's uh, a, a like religious moral center uh, uh, maintaining the moral purity or rightness of a country to the people to some sort of populist ideal uh, or the welfare of uh, of the population to the strength of the country uh, to the strength of the state uh, its military its autonomy um, or to the uh, the sort of um, wealth, the, the capitalist health of the economy of the country um, to make sure that it is uh, continuing to run and is strong uh, and, um, you know, producing I guess that it that it that it has a functioning economy. Um, all of those you could make an argument are the abstract purpose of a government to to ensure the well-being of one or more of those uh, sort of cores of um, a, a, a nation state uh, a, a sovereign power uh, and um, this game. Uh, not specifically by simulating uh, the directly the the like uh, the tensions of being in power, but by abstracting that. It's storytelling, right? But the story that is telling is a very compelling story about 
uh, wanting to um, wanting to maintain power, want to continue um, as uh, as the governor of this sovereignty, and how that is um, ultimately that overrides any other considerations. That is super cool and fucking dark. Like and yeah, that's that's neat that is that this is a super neat game um even if it doesn't like unfold anymore uh even if it doesn't have more depth that it shows um which i suspect that it does uh now i'm you know i'm 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 looking 600 years down the line at like something is gonna happen again um, and, uh, can I prepare myself for it? Is that a thing that I can even do? What does it mean? What's going to happen? Um, at the very least, there is a suggestion of, uh, a past, uh, that is coming back to haunt me and, um, a, 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 a parallel world and, and the power and influence that it has, like all of this cool stuff that I expect will, um, continue to crop up and, and complicate my life. But uh, even without any of that narrative, um, just the play of this game as a metaphor for the corruption of power is super fucking cool. Um, okay. Uh, thanks to Sir Cedric's actions, the mountainous region is now corrupt <laughs> as well as unruly. Uh, that was quick. Uh, Sir Cedric is at the head of a large horde of half bandits. Should I send the army? Uh, this will kill people. This will empower the army. If I think about this stat, based on the sort of paradigm that I just articulated, if I think about this stat as the um, the autonomy and and sort of. Uh, defense of state then um sending the army to eradicate a horde of half bandits should uh Im should make my state stronger right should uh reduce questions about uh the the state's autonomy so um this is going to make military go up this is going to make people go down I mean, I kind of would rather have people go down. Frankly, the military is about to overthrow me. After that decision, chaos ensued in the Eastern Baronies. Again. Way to go, King. You wake up in the middle of the night feeling the years bending your back. You're old and tired. I'm 32, or I've I've been in power for 32 years, um, but also I had gout and uh, was like... Um, prematurely aged by my attempt to cure it so uh, stay awake or or uh, go back to sleep um, that's I'm gonna die here I'm gonna have a heart attack tomorrow I'm gonna live one more day Oh no, old age. Uh, you won't be able to hear or understand properly. Scared, you try very hard to hide your ailment from the court. Uh, I love this. I love this more than I can say. This is this is fucking awesome. That's wonderful. We should itch the kingdom of the south. Uh, they're growing stronger every day. Um, yeah, uh, no, that's going to definitely kill me. This will lower population, which isn't good, but isn't that bad. Oh, no, that raised population. Shit. Uh, I could build you hospital to provent u surgio of opidemax. Yes? Mount Care, the hospital will limit the consequences of epidemics and catastrophes. I think that that's going to be persistent. Oh, yes. It even shows up in my bottom thing. I don't know how long that'll last. Will that last forever? Uh, but it's cool that it shows me. Um, I like that uh, some of these persistent effects uh, 
um, are part of the UI, are like uh, visible on demand. Um, some of them, so for example, I, I recruited a, a crazy doctor, um, I got married, right? Those are persistent effects and they show up occasionally in the cards, um, but there's no on-demand uh, way to tell uh, like what what effects are persistent. This is cool. Mount Care. Cool. Mount Care. Love it. My lord! You seem to breathe whipped a lot of difficulty. Are you all right? Um, definitely. I don't want anybody to know that I'm not. Yes. Uh, or... Or maybe, uh, maybe not breathing well is something that somebody should look into? Let's go with that. To, to, to put falls of a remoto villageo, iro, uh, toikpig, to pour, uh, kapil drop, to spit up to a king's mop. Um... All right, so wait, wait, wait. The the fools in a remote village are uh, are something their children are teaching their children to spit on the king's uh, something of mine, some some kind of king's thing. Should should we uh, make them stop? Make an example of them? Uh, yes, make make an example of them. Good. All right, that's what I wanted that to do. Uh, the the uh, the div uh, the divine tribal uh, Aristod uh, master Arp. Uh, that's my doctor guy. They arrested the doctor. Will you sign his? Oh shit! Is that gonna free him or condemn him? Is that a condemnation or a commutation? Probably condemnation, right? Uh, what else would it be? I don't think it's commutation. I think that's too obscure a word. Will you sign his condemnation? No, release. Oh, oh, good. No, release him. Church is going to go down. People goes up. Yes, it does. Oh, church goes way down. Oh, my Lord, you're dying of... Genoi, Genoi, I, uh, long live the king, you're 50 years old today, woo, 50, uh, don't tell me, <laughs> yes, I am, your wife is secretly in love with someone else, oh no, uh, one of these, is, is this gonna make my religion go down? Is this going to make my religion go up? I governed at least 40 years. I think that made my religion go up. I think the seer, if I ignore the seer, then the religion goes up. Uh, there's beep app explosion in the capital. There's been an explosion. We don't exactly know what happened. Shall we close the gates to the city? No is probably going to make everything go down. Yes is going to cost a lot of money. Let's do it. My dear, I'm dying. I don't know why. Please let me rest in my parents' tomb back in the south. Uh, Sure. Okay. Everything goes down. The population is scared by terrorists. Please re respond rescind the payment of taxes this year population goes down this i don't know everything oh no wait everything probably goes down except for population goes up uh oh my god i just i want to i'm i want to live forever this is this is my this is my whole deal i just want to live forever <laughs> Toporo's boop, appetipor, actual. Oh God! Uh, this time, 
the in the merchant's district there's been another explosion shall we reinforce security no oh no oh uh, oh no i i died because i was too i died of old age what an achievement you're dying of of uh you you you're dying my my young friend dying of old age what an achievement cool sweet i i uh, in the end, you die mourned by all your subjects. Your name is praised. Your tomb becomes a shrine. Fuck yes. Woo! 45 years! That's what you get for dealing with the devil. Mmm, hell yeah. Okay, I still haven't won a duel or lost myself in the dungeon or talked to a vase. I'm gonna play maybe one more. What are these? Are these, um, are these things that are going to happen at certain times? Like, what is this? Is this my heir? Is this the, the prince who, like, appeared randomly? Uh, is this a, a, a sign of things to come? Um... We heard about a young princess being held against her will in Dark Rock Castle. That sounds... Oh. Oh. It's obviously a trap. Or I will... Yeah, let's... I'm young. I'm young enough to be daring. Uh, I ride to Dark Rock in full armor, proud, glorious, and glittering. Breathing fire. It's a dragon. There you go, jet lag. Are you the king? Are you here for the damsel? I mean, I got all dressed up. Let's party. Uh, here, take her. Sure, why not? Nobody is killing anyone. You're here for the girl. Here she is. End of story. Sure, that sounds great. I don't... That's fine. I don't need to kill a dragon. Uh, yes, I am your hero. Are you back, sire? Did you enjoy our little entertainment? That dragon was not cheap. Wait, what? Who paid? Look at the strange thing I created last week while messing around with alchemy and dark hearts. Wait, can I just... Can I note that, um... Uh, that would be a great, like, uh, experience weekend. Like, um, okay, so I have a friend who was telling me that, uh, if you shell out a lot of money, wait, 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 let me start over. This is a better way to tell the story. Um, if you go to Vegas, then, uh, you can, there are a bunch of, like, uh, lawless experiential things that you can do. Uh, because, um, regulation is, is very lax in Nevada and in, uh, the county of, of Las Vegas, I guess. Um, I don't actually know anything about the, the legalities of things, but for example, like you can, uh, you can go to a place where you can rent a machine gun and go out on a firing range and like shoot a machine gun, like a, like a big ass machine gun. You could like, um uh like military vehicles and and stuff like that i think you can do like obviously like bungee jumping or whatever but you can do uh, uh or like um what's the thing with parachutes skydiving you can do like skydiving like they'll take you up in a private plane and go skydiving like there's that kind of experiential thing there's also like cool themed shit um so i have a friend who uh on attending a bachelor party event in las vegas uh, did a, um, a, a zombie, some kind of a zombie adventure, paint, like a paintball, a paintball campaign, right? So instead of like a death match, paintball death match, uh, you and your friends are, uh, are, a you know, a band of, uh, heroes at the end of the world, uh, with your paintball guns, and you are um, trying to 
uh, you know, escape and avoid and uh, destroy the zombie menace that is played by actors uh, who, you know, are, are staged around the arena um and you have like objectives that you have to whatever it's that you get it like it's it's that kind of like big themed entertainment thing so there's all of this shit that you can do and then there's also like for an enormous amount of money um somebody will sell you the jason Bourne weekend package uh, which is effectively just a sequence of all of these things uh, wrapped up narratively a little bit. So like um, it's it, you you get the you get a weekend where you are Jason Bourne and you go around and you shoot machine guns and you skydive and uh, and you fight zombies. I don't know. Like they they probably figure out how to make it all make sense and 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 make it um uh sort of cohe a little bit cohesive as an experience i'm just saying uh somebody in vegas could probably make a lot of money uh by putting together a like save the fair maiden from a dragon weekend experience uh that's all i'm saying that's all i'm saying uh, all right. Look at this strange thing I created last week while messing around with alchemy and the dark arts. Fucking, fucking, uh, brilliant. Sounds brilliant. Uh, it's a vase. I'm going to talk to the vase, I guess. <laughs> it's a vase. Still brilliant. That's super brilliant. Doesn't say anything. It's a vase. Uh, I'm, I just, I think all of this is brilliant uh what what uh the doctor he's a liar he found me in lamascus he didn't create me uh who are you the question so vast it verges on nonsense come back with the frozen blood and i may find an answer <laughs> um i find such humor in that kind of repetition uh, I like really super enjoyed that sequence, uh, in the same way that I really super enjoyed the sequence in, um, in the original Dragon Age and Dragon Age Origins, where you can talk to Win about the, um, the, uh, Grey Wardens, uh, and, and just keep bringing up griffins and like she tries to tell you serious things and you just keep talking about griffins uh and i love that dialogue uh because i find that shit uh, like that's so funny to me um so that was fun you should build a new tower sounds expensive sounds really expensive no we, do, we don't don't we have enough church don't we have enough church I'd like to open a couple of shops for my wares and charms. Uh, sh sure. Also, Lady Lena, Leanna, oh no wait, Lady Leanna is, who are you? Joan was the wife of the previous king. Okay. How would you like to open, a, I would like to open a couple of shops of wares and charms. Church is probably going to hate that. Yeah, sure does. While digging for gold, we found the entrance to a very strange crypt. A very scary one with ghostly voices and foul smells. I am the king of adventure. I will go. Oh, I'm going to lose myself in a dungeon now. There's a bunch of dark traps. That's probably not good. It is a pungent dungeon. There's no way back. And in your absence, the kingdom ineluctably falls into anarchy what are what are the um what are my stats uh mount care oh uh yeah okay so i still have mount care oh that's good to know um all right Okay, this is going to suck. Uh, it seems there's a door on the right, but it's not clear. No, there's definitely there's a door on the right. Uh, whispering I like that this is whispering horror walls are ornate with discreet alchemists runes uh, use the gold door or the mercury door 
Um, mercury is poisonous. Let's go gold. Uh, do not open treasure chests. It's a dead end. You need to turn back, turn around. Oh, no, there was a skeleton the whole time. Uh, I, I can't flee. There's a fucking dead end behind me. Uh, you're not talking much for someone who's alive. Uh, oh, interesting. Okay, what the fuck is this system? So this is something that we have never seen before. I'm curious to, to know if this is something that um, is like... I like how often does does combat come up in the game uh, and in what circumstances you're not talking much for someone who's alive I can either attack or defend um, I can attack two or defend one there's some kind of contested ground in the middle and we each have three spots I'm gonna attack Oh shit, that didn't go well. Victor has very big red eyes. He's mean to me sometimes. Mean how is Victor around? See, that looks like it's going to leave me vulnerable. So I'm going to I'm going to step backwards. I'm going to let him charge forward and then I'm going to attack. Oh no, he went backward too. Uh, lost and passably crazy, the skull evaporates. Oh, interesting. So this is a this is like charge forward, high attack, then shield up. Yes, that's good. Oh, oh, interesting. Except for Victor, I'm alone all the time. Uh, attack, attack, or dodge attack. This is more like a parry, maybe. Okay, so again, here's the system. Um, I'm barely reading the narrative. Uh, I am, uh, although maybe that's what I should be doing because the, the combat game that I'm playing, uh, is a lot of guessing. It's a lot of, uh, it's mostly sort of like, I don't know what the skeleton's going to do. Uh, I probably have a right move and a wrong move or a better move, uh, uh, uh based on what the skeleton ends up doing, but I don't know what that's going to be. So in some cases, I feel like I can make some educated guesses, uh, but in other cases, it's, it's totally arbitrary. So in this case, I have no idea which of these two things is going to be better. So, uh, except for Victor, I'm alone all the time. Uh, I can stay. I'll stay with the skeleton. I'm never getting out of here anyway. Oh no, I just got fucking killed by a skeleton. You bleed to death on the filthy dungeon floor, but I earned a new move. I don't, I literally don't know what that means. What is a move? Um... High score is just number of years in power. My hospital still exists. Uh, I've gotten some of these things. Da, da, da. Uh, I've not died in a bunch of ways. Uh, oh, that's an achievement one, maybe? And I've found some characters. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, cool. Oh, maybe that's a dual move in like for it for the duel. I don't know. Alright, cool. I've been playing this for about an hour. Let's uh take a short break and then switch over to um uh Titan Souls, uh is what I'm gonna do. Um this was fun though. I I am continuing to enjoy this game. It is, um, <sighs> so, um, I was warned, uh, by Thanarod, uh, on, on, uh, Twitter before I started playing this, that, um, it's, designed as a mobile game and it sort of works best in that format 
Um, and uh, some of that is based on like tactile input and it's a it's a swipe left swipe right sort of an input which is fine um, but frankly you know the mechanics of that work uh, pretty well in any in any format um, but some of it is like it's it's a game that is occasionally engaged I mean there's a sense of disconnect from it that's really odd um, because of how much uncertainty I have at any given moment uh, and the way that that uncertainty plays. Uh, and um, so I'm making a lot of bets, but my bets feel abstract and they happen really fast, which is great. Uh, and the mechanics of them are really simple. Uh, it's a swipe, le swipe left, swipe right. Um, it's, it's over in an instant. Uh, and then I get a hit of like, yeah, I chose right or I chose wrong. Um, but it's not, um, it's not gripping. See, I, I'm trying to find the right word. It is compelling, uh, especially because there's a compelling narrative and there's a compelling sort of underlying layer. Uh, and it is, um, it is interesting and it is fun. Like I had fun playing it um, and the tension of trying to balance all of your stats is like there's fun in that. Um, but it's not gripping in the same way that a lot of uh sort of slow paced strategy games of which this is one uh it's not gripping in the same way to me because it sort of throws all of this uncertainty at you um this is a game that definitely goes on my list of like i want to keep playing this um, I also have not yet finished Big Glitched, and I have not yet finished Pony Island, and I'm working on both of them. And I keep playing Big Glitched, like I've actually made quite a lot of progress in that game since I played it on the show. Um, I feel like this goes into that stack of like, it's a short game, play sessions are fairly quick, like I can play it in 15-20 minutes uh, and, and get a game in and make progress. Um, but uh it's not like the thing that i'm gonna go home and be like yeah now it's time for some rains i also don't think i especially want to put it on my phone but i have a different relationship with my phone in terms of gaming than most people do i could see this being a fun game on your phone for a lot of people okay cool um break coming back titan souls